Hello and welcome to Microsoft. In this video, we are going to talk about Point in Time Restore, a feature that allows us to restore a Cosmos DB account, a database, or a container from any time from 30 days ago until now. This operation will work in the background without consuming any extra provided throughput or affecting the performance or availability of your database. Next, we will see how easy it is to restore with Point in Time Restore. We'll begin creating a Cosmos DB account with a backup option of Point in Time Restore. To restore, we can go to Settings and to Point in Time Restore that allow us to manually restore. In this example, we are going to change our database account, the backup policy. We can see in settings that we have the backup and restore option. This means that the periodic backup is enabled. To change to point in time restore, we can go to fixtures and then go to continuous backup and then click in enable. This operation will take a few minutes. After a while, we will see that the continuous backup has now the status on. In settings, you will see now the point in time restore option. If you don't see it, please refresh the page. In this example, we are going to show how to delete a container and restore it with point in time restore. First, we're going to go to Data Explorer and then choose a database and a collection. Then we're going to the three dots and choose delete container. You will have to confirm by typing the container ID, in this case, persons. Below, you can give a reason for you to delete this container. In our case, this will be testing. Now you can click OK. This request will take a few seconds to be concluded. After we confirm that our container is deleted, we can go to Point in Time Restore. Note, to restore our data, we will need to have the right permission. In Point in Time Restore, we will have to choose our date. For this example, we will choose a random date. Note. You only have from 30 days ago until now to choose your date to restore. Then we'll have to choose our location. In our case, we'll choose East US. You can choose to restore the entire account or just a database or container. In our case, we'll choose a container. Next, we'll choose which container. In our case, we don't have any container to choose. This happens because the date doesn't have any container, so we choose another date. Now we have a container to restore. To finish the point in time restore, we will have to choose the resource group and then the new Cosmos DB account name. In our example, we will choose testing point in time. Note, if you want to use point in time restore, you always have to choose a new Cosmos DB account to restore. After everything is filled, we can go to submit. In this example, we are going to show how to restore a Cosmos DB account. First, we're going to point in time restore. Next, we're going to choose a restore point. In our case, we're going to choose a random date. Next, we're going to choose a location. In our case, we're going to choose East US. You can choose the entire account or database or container. In our case, we're going to choose the entire account. At last, we're going to choose the resource group and the new Cosmos DB account name. In our case, we're going to choose testing point in time restore. 
Note, in order to use Point in Time Restore, you always have to choose a new Cosmos DB account. Now that everything is filled, you can click on Submit. For more information about Point in Time Restore, you can go to our documentation in Continuous Backup, where you can get more information about the Point in Time Restore, as for example, what is restored and what is not restored. You can get also information about permission, the pricing, and also the current limitation.